Hi and welcome back to MRTV. This video is all about the Lynx R1. I just came back from Paris where I was able to check out the device for the very first time. The Lynx R1 is one of the first standalone mixed reality headsets ever. What does this mean? Well, it means this headset can do virtual reality as we know it, like from, for example, the Quest 1 or 2, but this headset can also do mixed reality, augmented reality, thanks to color pass-through. So this device has color pass-through 3D cameras, so two cameras that will record your environment in 3D and in color. And this is what you can see in this mixed reality mode in your VR headset. And because it's a VR headset, things can be put into your reality, like virtual objects can be put into your reality, like for example, a solar system that you can interact with your hands with because this also has the very capable Ultra Leap hand tracking system built in. This is a super exciting project. And actually, this is a whole new category of VR headsets. And I'm telling you, this technology is going to be so normal in the future. But right now, we can already enjoy it with this device. And actually, Lynx has a Kickstarter up right now, and you can back this device for $500. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you my unedited first reactions when I tried this device for the very first time. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if you are excited about virtual reality, augmented reality, or both mixed and mixed reality, then absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button because here I'm checking out the latest that the tech has to offer. And I'm going to places like Paris to check out the links, for example. And I did this because, well, not many people had checked it out before and were wondering, does the tech actually work as advertised? Because some of you might want to back them on Kickstarter. So now I'm going to show you the unedited footage of me trying out the Lynx R1 for the first time. And sometimes I'm also showing you what I saw through the lenses. But this is not through the lens footage. This was actually re-recorded later on the laptop. And that's why also the device still has the cable to the laptop, just to let you know. So showing you the footage right now. And then after the footage, I'm again going to summarize it and let you know what I thought of this demo. So absolutely stay tuned until the very end. But now let's start with the demo. When you, when you see a, a pink screen, you tell me, okay? Yeah. Okay, now it's pink, yes. Okay, and uh, now it's, I la just launched the, the painting uh, app. Ah, uh -huh. okay, wow. Okay, now I can see the world. Okay, so put... And on, oh, okay. Cool. So let me just tell people what I see. So yeah, it's a color pass through, <laughs> obviously. So this is like no comparison to Quest or any, any color pass through that I've seen so far. We can look at Gary and Shuki here. Oh yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Cool. And uh, Oh yeah, the, the colors do still um, are quite dependent now on the on, light on condition. The lighting. Yeah, right, on the light condition. Right. So, so try to draw with your left oh, hand. This looks good. So when I, when I look up now, I see that my hands are automatically tracked. And I think, the, yeah, this is this um, ultra leap, right? Yeah. And uh, so when I, wow, this is, this is really cool. <laughs> so yeah, when I, when I move my hands like this, then a menu will come up and I say clear and menu, and I can do clear. So this is the, like a drawing application that you showed us before. So how can I draw something? So it's your left hand, you pinch the thumb and the index. Okay. Yes, like that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm trying to do the MRTV logo. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst MRTV logo I ever did. So it, it <laughs> this, this will be ah, really to, yeah. To, to right. Yes. Okay. Got it. And then you can move around and. Uh, can I also like grab it? No. No. Right. Uh, you yet. cannot grab it. Okay, that's okay. You can clear it. You can. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll probably clear it again. Oh wait. 
Oh yeah. Wow, oh, this is so cool that I can draw now into into reality. <laughs> oh, I can see what I you're love, writing. I love, I love this technology. I love it. And so put I, your, I can see Gary there. And put like, your head through it. the video. Oh, this is f***ing magic. <laughs> I love this. Okay, yeah, the beautiful thing is now I can, I can just like look around a bit. And yeah, I still have my peripheral vision as in the office here. But that part here, well, it will be augmented with whatever I draw. Yeah, my beautiful drawings, for example. Yes. Your beautiful so drawings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is this is this peripheral vision here is just like okay, I have I have a I have a, a human FOV right now, but I have stuff that I can put into this. This is like um for, I've used for example the magic leap and the magic leap it will restrict your peripheral vision because you have that huge mm -hmm. um, arms of the of the glasses there, right? You would see only this, but not as good. Right, so for example, now I, I drew that MRTV logo and I cannot see through this MRTV logo. You know, like behind is there's my camera, but I cannot see this. This will be occluded by, by what I drew. But will, occlusion will work here as well already? Yes, it does. This is cool. So <laughs> I put my hands behind what I drew and then what I drew, it occludes my hands. So this is something that is not possible when doing this with, with the HoloLens, for example, because, yeah, well, I'll still see my hands through, through that because of the optics, right? But here, because it's passed through, they can totally cancel out my hands, which, which is so cool. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is really cool. And I really like it that I can still see the real world here, you know, in my peripheral vision. That actually really adds something, like a human, human FOV, basically. So basically, I have a human FOV machine where I can add things. At a 90 degree. At a, at a 90 degree, yeah. yeah. So, so, so like um, the, the, um, the things that I see here right now, like the virtual things that I can draw here, for example, that FOV is like way better than HoloLens, where I can also draw something, or, or Unreal, or basically any of these AR headsets that I have personally checked out that do not work with uh, pass-through. So, so this is, <laughs> this is freaking amazing. So do you want to try uh, another demo now? No, I just want to stay here. <laughs> I want to stay I understand. here for a moment. My so girlfriend <laughs> played with it for... Uh, 20 minutes yesterday and she's not she, she's not into AR and VR at all so it was you know it was a win for me it is it is really compelling just uh, the rotational movements are still not perfect right yeah like that is true is, that is, is true this is something that I also see like we are working on, on this part when I when I rotate then it will not move like the real world it will move a bit um, faster probably like yeah the rotational Right? Yeah, this the, is, this the, is the time warp is still the, being the, the, uh, exactly, tuned. Exactly. So this is something that is not perfect yet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, <laughs> did I just see Gary there standing? And like, I'm looking through my MRTV logo that I just drew. Uh, this is, and that the occlusion works here with my drawing. I need to draw more to occlude more. Yeah, okay, so now I'm drawing lots of stuff. And I'm putting my hand behind what I drew. And it's gone now. <laughs> oh my God, this is, this is really cool. This is absolutely, wow. Yeah, this is, uh, we're now here at the bleeding edge of this technology, which is amazing. Excuse my French. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm ready for the next demo. Okay, uh, so put the visor up and then we will launch the... Hello. <laughs> We are just going to reboot to launch the, so what, which one do you want? The solar system or the, which one? The, uh, the, oh, the, maybe, maybe let's go to the solar system. Yeah, yeah I like the solar system. Yeah, the occlusion is. That is, that is the point here. That is the really cool thing, the occlusion. You know, you have something, you put your, your hand behind it, it's gone, your hand is gone. 
So that feels I so much immersive. This is this is the first time that I see this. Oh really? In my life, yeah. Oh wow! I'm glad we could bring yeah. something here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you're really going cool. to start in the solar system demo. So you can put the headset visor down. Yeah. Okay. Take your time to adjust yeah. in front of your eyes, of course. But you should see a solar system. I do see a colorful solar system in front of me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just saw what I just did there by myself. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> I want to touch it. I will touch it in a moment. So, I, I, I'm now like in virtual reality. Yeah. So, I, at the moment, I don't see any anything um, um, like behind I don't see like my camera or what so I just see this um, solar system in front of me hovering but not in a room it's just like as if I were in VR right but and I, I saw that when when Stan did it before when he showed us the demo and I also just saw it <laughs> just now when so I'm in a big orb you can get up but when I when I get out of this orb probably because yeah wow this is cool <laughs> so when I get out of this orb suddenly I see reality again so i have this floating orb now in front of me and um, when i go inside i'm totally in vr right but when i go out there whoops there's gary and yeah there's stan and i can see him through my glasses uh, not my glasses through your glasses and uh, <laughs> wow that is that is super amazing technology this is really cool you can also uh, grab the sun yeah oh man this one <laughs> i'm very excited about so I see um, now um, that skeleton of my hand. This is like the, the ultra leap um, skeleton of hands. And okay, I, I grab it with, oh yeah, I grab it with my right hand. And you can get up with it. And I get it out. I get the sun out now of this orb. Oh my God, this is so cool. And I place the sun here, boom. <laughs> wow. And you look at the- Oh no, the other planets are, oh, they, they don't have that. Gravitational pull. Let me take the sun back. Okay. Yeah. Are they coming back? They should. They or they will. They will now have a different kind of uh, orbital. Orbital. Uh, <laughs> wow. Try. This? Try to take the sun. Yeah. Take and, the sun. And, and punch uh, Mars on your yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is so cool. That's and now now Mars is like going going out going into Paris now. <laughs> Oh wow, this is a this is a freaking amazing demo. This is so this shows this is so powerful. This is this is like okay, yeah. Well, I think we know already that this is the future. It yeah, is. We, we know it, right? But the thing is, the people don't even understand what, what how powerful this is. Yeah, they they've seen something like and we'll I show know. them. Yeah. Oh my god, this is. The, the, the cool thing is that you're now in VR, if you, in, you're in this orb, right? And then you go out of this orb and boom, there's Gary and there's, <laughs> there's Paris and there's this office. Wow. Yeah, I love this demo. I love this demo. As you can tell, the tech works and I was pretty impressed by what I saw. If you want to see the deep dive where I talk for two hours with Stan LaRock, the CEO and founder of Lynx, absolutely check out the latest episode of the Next Dimension podcast here. And well, now I'm going to summarize what I think of the tech. So first of all, the color pass through was really nice. I wouldn't say it was perfect, no. There was still some noise in the picture and also for the white balance. It didn't work perfectly. There were different light sources and as you could also see in the through the lens footage, depending on where I looked, yeah, the, the colors changed a bit, right? The hue. So this is something that they still have to work on and Stan told me that actually they will calibrate it and Qualcomm will help them to calibrate it. Also, I did see some problems with the parallaxing like when I was looking left and right, it was still not perfect and not perfect as in like the environment, the real environment and the things that I saw in the glasses, they, they did not perfectly line up. And the reason is that the lenses, no, the cameras that are 
well responsible for recording the things around you, they are not exactly in the position of the eyes, right? They are a bit further out. So therefore, it is not exactly like what you see around you compared to what you see on the screen. But it's already very good. Then also something interesting, the lenses here, right? These lenses are pretty interesting. I've never seen this kind of lenses before. And well, when I saw that in the Kickstarter, I couldn't believe that these lenses would actually show you a nice, well, VR picture, right? Because they look like diamonds, <laughs> it's crazy. But actually, when you have them exactly in front of your eyes, the VR picture is just as any VR picture from any other VR headset. And well, I couldn't see any kind of differences. I, I didn't see any, any problems with the pictures. And this also had a pretty decent sweet spot. So I could find the sweet spot and it was good that I could like, yeah, set up the IPD of both eyes individually. So, so that worked well. Had to set it up first, of course, have to, had to find it first, but then when everything was locked in, this worked really well. So a very, very interesting system. And because of these lenses, they were able to actually have this very thin design of the headset. Because if you compare this with the Quest 2, for example, or with other VR headsets, this actually is very thin. So who is this device for? And is this probably the Quest 2 killer? For that, I can say no. In my opinion, this is more of a HoloLens 2 killer because in direct comparison, well, it has a very similar form factor, but the things that it can do, it can actually do as well as the HoloLens or actually better because, well, this pass-through AR works so well. You have a wider field of view with like 90 degrees as compared to probably around 40 degrees. The hand tracking is actually way better than on the HoloLens in terms of latency and also everything works really, really well. So if you are thinking about getting the HoloLens 2 for your enterprise, probably have a look at the Lynx R1 because, well, it's cheaper and it can do the things better. So more of a HoloLens killer than a Quest 2 killer. Probably you could also use the Lynx R1 as a VR headset and the VR functions were good. However, the controllers, I couldn't test them yet. And also the Steam VR tracking, I couldn't test in that review. And in general, I believe that if you simply want to use this for playing your Steam VR games, there are already other headsets that can do that in an amazing way. But if you want to have like a headset that is the beginning of a whole new category of mixed reality headset that can give you really beautiful color pass through. And most probably once developers have that in your hand, really interesting mixed reality applications that it's going to show you where our whole tech is heading towards, then this indeed is an exciting project that's worth backing. We only saw a few demos that demonstrated to us that the headset can actually do the things that the company advertised and it can do these things well. But once developers have this in their hands and unleash their creativity with these tools, I'm so excited to see what kind of beautiful experiences, new kind of games these developers will be able to create with the Lynx R1. And getting closer to the end of this video, I would simply like to express my respect for the team, what they have achieved in only two years with only $2 million worth of funding is nothing short of spectacular. And I can only imagine what they will be able to do once they got more funding, probably through the Kickstarter campaign. And again, I believe this is a project that is worth supporting or through the next round of funding. If you want to support links and if you want to be part of this project, the link to Kickstarter is down in the description of this video. And that is everything that I have about the Lynx R1. Check out those lenses. It's so cool. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like it that I go to places to check out things for you, absolutely give it the, the thumbs up. And of course, I would like to know from you now, what do you think about the Lynx? Are you going to support it? Please do leave all of your thoughts down into the comment section of this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, then absolutely do that now. And I'm looking forward to see you 
in the next episode.